Today on the Oakie Woodsman channel, I have some string trimming to do. All right, so I don't know if we'll be able to see this or not. And I'm freshly out of my Husqvarna string line that I bought because Project Farm at one point rated it like among the best. Hypa sent me this spool, this five pound spool of 0 0.095 line. It's perfectly round. It's clear on the outside with a black core in the middle. I don't know if that means anything. Who knows if that matters, but I will tell you this. I'm gonna go ahead and run it today. I can't really do a head to head. That's a pretty tough thing to do. But what I am gonna do is I'm just gonna use it and see how it does. I have my SRM 2620 already loaded up with it. And my SRM 2320T has the Husqvarna stuff. I'm probably just gonna use this trimmer and just kind of see how it feels. I think this stuff is quite a bit less expensive and it's purchasable on Amazon. There will be a link below, but I'm not giving it my recommendation yet. I'm gonna go ahead and continue to use this for some time because this is obviously quite a large package. I believe there's somewhere around 1,400 feet on here or so. I've recently been talking about lower priced items, some no-name type stuff being problematic. I'm curious to see if this trimmer line is gonna go into that category as well. I'm gonna be using my 3M work tunes. I've been using those consistently over the last little bit of time. What you see me doing is I'm actually streaming audio, music or a podcast or something through them. I've got some stuff on, currently listening to an advertisement, but I'm gonna go ahead and get to trimming. I'm gonna trim around my house. I just wanna see if this line seems like it works well. That's what I'll be able to tell you. Running the line a little long. So far, so good. It's unremarkable, but that's a good sign. This is hard on the line right here. It's a lot of little pine trees. Yeah, was that full length on this? Let's see what it looks like after doing all that. I cut it down, kind of to be expected. That might have been a little much, but it didn't break off right here, which is a really good thing. Comes out nicely. So far, so good on that line. I haven't noticed anything wrong. It doesn't feel abnormal, like I'm having to do line out very often. That's good. While we're walking over here, I'll talk about these 3M work tunes. I am sorry if I'm talking a little loud because there is music going on inside my head right now, but I will tell you, I've had zero trouble with them. They have a really decent range. I'll uh, walk around and do work 
and they've worked well. They do not sound stellar, but they protect my ears and I'm able to listen to something and I'm able to easily hear it. All right, I'm gonna start here. This is gonna be a big job for this trimming line. I still haven't tapped that head. So, I don't know if we'll be able to see this or not. It looks like the outside sheath kind of wears down and then that inside might be a little bit stronger. It's kind of hard to tell though. If you haven't seen my video on the fuel efficiency of this uh, 2620 string trimmer, I'll link it in the description. I tried to mathematically estimate how many times that my engine spun in an allotted amount of time. Kind of interesting. Now I did use more fuel than I'm used to, but that was thicker grass than I'm used to as well. So nice. This looks so much better. I apologize in advance if I have some sort of grass or leaf or something in my beard. I haven't looked at myself. I hope I don't have some snot on my face. Guys, if you're wondering if it's an okay place to cheap out on something like this, I'm gonna do my best to share my thoughts with you on my experience just now. Uh, if you notice, if you've been following the channel for a while, I have a theme that sometimes cheap is not the best. Going cheap sometimes bites you in the butt. That's all it's to it. When it comes down to this right here, I haven't pulled off my spool to see what kind of trimmer line I have left. This one had, I would say about almost five arm spans in it. In fact, what I'll do is I will go ahead and pull that off. Let's see, this is the trimmer I used. It basically used the entire fuel tank there. I'm gonna go ahead and pop this out and let's see what we used. 
I'm gonna set the speed feed up so that way I can go ahead and feed the line back in here. There it is. So let's go ahead and count these. I started with over four. I normally just put four. One, two, two and a half. I would say I probably used about half of the stringer line on that one full, full fuel tank. And let's take a look at this stuff here. So you can see it's got this core. Um, I don't know if it helps or not, but I can tell you my suspicions and my feelings. That's about all I can do because all I can do is kind of go off of my previous experience. That amount of trimming that I did just now, I actually do believe this. I believe that this line, because I just used this trimmer just for a couple minutes, this one I was having to tap a lot. Less RPM head, uh, I'd say similar conditions, rock with rocks, mixed stuff. I feel like this stuff actually did really well. It is perfectly round, there's no edges to it. Uh, I think that if you were to go and look online at like Project Farm, the different shapes are kind of overrated. They're kind of unnecessary, it seems. I think string line just basically bludgeons everything off and this sure does a good job of it. So I've got half my line left, which is pretty cool. Uh, approximately half my line. I'm gonna leave this up to you on whether or not you think this is a good value. My thoughts are is this. I never had a failure at the edge. Uh, I did have it come unbalanced a couple times as I was hitting uh, little saplings and stuff. Uh, I have no guards, so I don't have a way of keeping my line even with the exception of coming up to something and just high RPM trimming it off and getting it even and then letting some more line out. This is my thought. A cheap muffler with cheap paint going on my steel MS460, I think it was a bad idea. This right here, I don't think there's any risk of damaging anything if for some reason you had some sort of strange failure. I don't think there'd be a reason for some sort of strange failure with this line either. If the line throughout this entire spool performs like this, like let's say there's no manufacturing flaws throughout 1500 feet, I can't imagine that being the case, but also I have been bit before by inexpensive items. It performed flawlessly, dare I say, as well, I think probably better than this Husqvarna silver line here. I know that there's now better stuff according to like Project Farm and other lawn care guys, but this spool is incredibly affordable. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop a link in the description to Amazon to this Hypa five pound spool of this line in particular. It was a little bit hard to get it unwound at first. There was a couple like loose uh, sections, actually good pre-cut almost for a trimmer. Um, but they were kind of wrapped randomly around it, so I just kept working that off, and now I'm down to the real spool. This is an affordable trimmer line, and a spool like this at your big box store is pretty expensive, or at your dealer. I, I just want to go ahead and present an option to you. Uh, of course, this is not something that you can just pick up at your local dealership, but it does come Amazon fairly quickly, and uh, I am probably going to be set for quite some time. I, in fact, with the amount of trimming that I do, um, this probably will last me years in, in all reality.